What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be doing the MDT Hell's Gate update video where I let you guys know how the, you know, the, the filming's coming along, when you guys can expect the show to be out, and all of that good jazz in between, you know, what's been going on and all of that stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it guys. So MDT Hell's Gate is not going to be up by 2019. You know, I wanted to get it out at the end of December. I really tried. I literally, even if I filmed it, it like, you know, as hard as I could for the next three days still would not be enough because not only do I have to film but I have to edit the show and editing the show is going to take a couple days two three four days probably at least because the Royal Rumble took me a very long time to edit and I tried to cram, cram it in in a one and a half two days and it almost killed me it was it was terrible so I'm definitely not going to do that again it was very awful it took a huge toll on my mentality and um, just my overall health just it was not good man so I'm definitely not going to do that again so I am going to take my time editing you know Hell's Gate and everything like that and it'll result in a better show you know it sucks that we have to wait for it but it'll be it'll be a much better show if we take our time with it and aren't just forcing stuff in there so uh it is not going to be up by the 31st of December. I really tried. I really, really did. I gave it my all. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why it's not going to be up by December 31st and why it will be up in January of 2020. And that really sucks. You know, I tried my best. I originally said Friday the 13th of December. I was totally underestimating the chamber and how to work the chamber and how many photos I would be able to get in per day. And not only that, but just posing and filming in that chamber is actually really difficult, especially when I've, you know, you guys have seen in the in the pictures you probably can see it on the screen right now how I've made it taller and stuff and I've kept the roof on it the entire time I filmed so this has been a very good learning experience for filming elimination chamber matches <laughs> almost vomited Ooh. but filming those elimination chambers were was very difficult and so I can't say this I, I will say that it's not going to be up by you know obviously Friday the 13th was a long time ago now I mean it's it's like two or three weeks past that and it is not going to be up on the 31st but I am still shooting for January of 20. 20 and I know it's like gosh darn bro like what the hell but I literally have tried my best and so in the month of December I was sick for at least half of it. I was sick for at least half of it. Uh, the first few days, I was unable to even film. Like, I was I was very sick, like, weekly and stuff like that. Could not film. I tried my best, and it just was not working out. I may have gotten, like, ten pictures just trying to force myself through, and it was just not... It, was, it, it would have resulted in a shittier quality of the product and of the show, and I did not want that. So I took a couple days to myself to rest up and heal up. Got myself feeling better, and then as soon as I got myself feeling better, Better. Our cat, actually, Allie, she uh, took a really big turn for the worst, guys. Like, it was, it was very, very rough. Like, she was on her deathbed. Uh, we were going to the vet, like, every day, going back and forth, visiting her, going back and forth, taking her back and forth, uh, getting her medication, you know, checking on her. Phone calls with the vet, like, lasting uh, over 30 minutes and, like, trying to get a lot of questions answered. It was a very uh, difficult situation for us, and, like, it put me in a mentality where it was very hard to film on top of going back and forth to the vet and, you know, having time for that. On top of that, we have, uh, obviously, my son Josiah is coming in March, and so we've had doctors appointments for Victoria, you know, going back and forth, having her checkups, her her weekly checkups and things like that, um, uh, ultrasounds and stuff like that to, you know, check on him, make sure he's coming along perfect, which he is, and it's awesome, and so that was what the beginning of December was just really hectic with the vet and sickness and our cat getting sick, and it was a very difficult situation, man, like it was, it was frustrating the hell out of me because I want to film and I want to get in there and do it, and it just was not working out. I, I tried my absolute best to do it, and then obviously, Obviously, once we got through the through the meat of December, from like maybe like the 16th to about uh, right before you know Christmas Eve and the last few days right there, I was going hard. Like I really did really good to get a lot of the show done, and that was really excellent. And then uh, obviously the end of December is where Christmas and all that stuff is. The last few you know the last week or so has been really difficult to film because you're trying to get all of your shopping done, and that I mean that played into some of the beginning of December, but obviously the end of December you know you're trying to make sure that everybody has their gifts and they're going to arrive and all that stuff so I did have to do some shopping there and then on Christmas Eve and the days before Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and the days after you're going to all your different family you're spending time with your family and I'm going to enjoy that time I wanted to take that time off to you know reset my mind and get my mind straight and everything like that but uh, I will say 
the the good news and the great news is is that Allie actually made a full recovery. She's like doing amazing now. She she literally was on her deathbed, and you know we took her to the vet, and she is doing a hundred million times better. She's back to the way she was when before she was like laying there in one position all day, like just very very ill. She uh, started eating again, and now she's like at full strength, being herself, and it's just so amazing. And uh, it it was definitely a miracle. And it was amazing, and, and we thank God for that. But it was uh, it was just a difficult month to get filming in. It was a really difficult month to get filming in. And we finally have, I've started now to finally be able to get back into filming. It was just not happening, man. It wasn't realistic to get the show out before 2019 when I did my absolute best. So for uh, the next few days um, and everything like that, I will have full days to film. And going into January, we're going to get a lot more work done, obviously. But how's the show coming along? I would say that we are over halfway done with it. I will say that we're over halfway done with it, and it's coming along great. Like everything's turning out perfect the way I want it to. I think. I think everything is uh, turning out great, and you know the filming and everything like that. I obviously can't go into details with it, but uh, we are we're coming along great. And it is it is since you know all the delays and the things that I've had to do, and you know Christmas and the cat and all that stuff. Obviously, uh, it's it's gone down now, and we're getting a lot more work done. And I, I think I did I, I got I got as much as I could in. I would say as far as getting the work done when all of that stuff was going on and running around and just stressing and all that stuff. But we have gotten a lot of the show done. Like it feels good. It looks good. You know, I've reviewed the footage like a hundred million times, starting from the beginning, and it looks like it's going to pan out. Everything is going to be exactly how I want it to look. And I will say that this show is probably going to be over two to two and a half hours long, and that. That is, that is definitely going to be a thing, and I've worked very, very hard on it, and anybody that knows, uh, that that has used that Jack's Elimination Chamber can tell you how difficult it is to actually use, and so um, that was a very big learning curve for me, and I, I figured it out now, and uh, it, it's very nice now. I think the second chamber flowed a lot better probably because you know the first one was a little bit more difficult to getting used to you know how to film it how to get the angles right and everything like that 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 was probably one of the biggest things about it but I, I cannot wait for you guys to see it that's the thing people think that I just don't want to show out. I want to show out more than anybody else that watches this video anybody that's a huge fan of the MDT channel I want to show out more than anyone in the entire universe so I can tell you that without a doubt when the show is finished when the show is completely filmed when the show is completely edited it will be posted that day or that night or that next morning depending on what time it's finished and all of that I promise you that there's no doubt about that um, I want it out more than anybody in the world there's been so much work that went into this show I mean you can look at the Royal Rumble and say there was a lot of work that went into that show I think there will be more work put into this show and that's how every show goes you know it gets better it gets bigger it gets longer it gets more in depth every single show we go and we're going to continue to do that but I feel terrible that we couldn't get anything out in December as far as pick feds go besides the 2K simulations. It really sucks. I hate it. I really wanted to have it out by the end of 2020 or by the end of 2019, but it will go up in 2020. And another thing that I thought about is what about this YouTube COPPA thing? Like what if, you know, they they market for kids or something like that, but I don't think they should, you know, I, I don't think so, but uh, we'll have to see about that, how that goes down and everything like that. But we are going to, uh, I'm going to finish this show regardless. I'm going to finish this show and put it up, but uh, I think we're going to be okay with the COPPA thing. I don't think it's going to be that big of a thing, but we'll obviously have to play all of that by ear, see how that goes. But the filming is coming along great after all those hiccups and bugaboos and bullshit man that really upset me going uh, going around town like a crazy madman going back and forth to the vet being sick doing my christmas shopping it was just a very stressful month of december but i can say with uh, a very good and glad tone that uh this is uh go it's gonna get a lot better and we're gonna get a lot more done here in the next few weeks and we're gonna get this show up i hate it i freaking hate it and i i want but i wanted to update you guys because i know everybody's looking for it um, but it is definitely not going to be in the next few days or whatever. It's not even going to be in the next week, but I am going to do my best. I'm going to do my very best to get it up, and this show is going to be very, very long. Like I said, it's going to be very long. It's going to be probably like a WWE pay-per-view as far as length is concerned and all of that good jazz, but I wanted to update you guys about MDT Hell's Gate, let you guys know exactly
exactly what has been going on, you know, why it, you know have, you haven't heard from me or whatever as far as the filming goes. I wanted to make this video the last couple days, but we finally had time to get this video up. You know, the last few days of December for today, tomorrow, the 30th and the 31st, we always do my full collection, so we are going to be doing my full, like, elite figure collection and going through all those. I'm going to fill up the backstage area. That video is going to be freaking forever long. I can't even tell you how many freaking figures I have now. We'll go through the, the main elites, then we'll go through the customs, and uh, that, that video is going to be very, very, very long, and that will probably be the December 30th video, maybe, or something like that. We also have the Christmas Battle Royal that I got to get up here in the next couple days. And then we have my room tour. We got to do the room tour where we do that. We do that every year at the end of the year or the first day of the year. I can't remember which one we do, but we do the room tour. We do the full collection. We do a end of the year battle royal where we're going to do the Christmas special where, you know, we put the Christmas tree in there. We put Santa and Santa Rollins in there and we get it going with that. So we're going to do both of those. And I think uh, that is going to be it. That's going to be our next three days of videos. And uh, we will have to see about all that. But that is going to do it for the MDT Hell's Gate update, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it and it answered all your questions. If you have any other questions down in the comment section below regarding Hell's Gate or anything like that, please let me know. But as far as answering your questions, uh, as far as when it will be out, as soon as possible, and I'm shooting for January. That's all I can say is just January 2020. As far as how is filming coming along, we are doing great. We're doing great now after we've you know hit all those hiccups and stuff like that. We're over halfway done with the show, I can say that. And the show will be very long. That is the three answers I can give you right now as far as those. I don't know of any other questions I can give you without spoiling anything or anything like that. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching, and uh, I hope you guys do stay tuned for those epic videos here at the end of the year. should be very fun. I'm actually going to go to Lowe's right now, and I'm going to look for some shelves so I can put some more shelves up to add for all of these freaking figures I got for Christmas and try to make them all look nice up on the shelf and maybe rearrange the room a little bit. But we'll see about that. You guys will see that in the room tour. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Wait patiently on Hell's Gate. I want it up way more than you do. I promise you that. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below with any questions you may have. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.